Good morning. Hopefully you have your unit circle here beside you as you begin to watch this video. We are solving some basic uh, beginning equations in the trig type equations. Um, let's practice going through a few of these and then you'll get a chance to do some on your own. Um, to begin with, we have the equation 2 cosine x equals negative radical 3. The idea of solving these, we want to isolate the trig word and the variable. So cosine x, that's what we want to get on the side of the equal sign all by itself. Just like in the worksheet you did yesterday, you were solving for x. So you tried to get x on one side and everything else on the other side. So when we solve this, what we want to do is we know that 2 out in front, we need to divide both sides by 2. That will give us cosine x equals negative radical 3 over 2. Now when you get cosine x all by itself, now you're ready to grab your unit circle and look things up. This was like the second page of your worksheet yesterday and where you're finding all angles. You're not limited to just the first and second quadrant like we were when we were talking about inverse cosine. Here, you want to be able to find where on the unit circle is cosine have an angle that's negative radical 3 over 2. Find all the places where that happens. Your answers are what that will be, the angles. We write these in radian measure when you look them up. So the first place as you're going around the circle that you find negative radical 3 over 2 is 5 pi over 6. Is there another one? And there is. You continue on around and you find it is at 7 pi over 6. So those would be our two answers, the way that we find those. Those are the only two that we'd have. Let's try another example. On the second example, we start out and we see that the trig word is sine squared. Well, what we want to do is we've got to get this down to where it is just sine x. So begin by moving the numbers over to the right side. Let's start by adding 1 first. So that would give us the 2 sine squared x equals 1. Get rid of the 2, so we divide by 2. This gives us sine squared x equals 1 half. This would be very similar to what we had before. If you had x squared equal a number, you'd just take the square root of both sides. So we want to take the square root of both sides. When you take the square root of sine squared, you get sine x. Remember when you take the square root of 1 half, you get both a plus and a minus answer. Now, that would be square root of 1 is 1, square root of 2 is two, square root of 2. Rationalize your denominator. So we multiply by radical 2. So we actually have sine x is equal to plus or minus square root of 2 over 2. Now, since we have sine x by itself, grab your unit circle. Start looking as you go around the unit circle. Where is sine either positive or negative radical 2 over 2? Well, the first place that happens is at pi over 4. Continue on around. It also happens at 3 pi over 4. Now, those are both the positive values. What about negative values? So you continue on around. You can see that also happens at 5 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. So this particular problem ended up with four answers. Okay, let's try one more example. In this last example, we start out with cosecant. Now, it's already cosecant x, so we would think that we could just look that up. What is the reciprocal of cosecant? Cosecant? 
means a reciprocal would be sine x. Well, if you take the reciprocal of the left side, you have to take the reciprocal of the right side. So that gives us sine x is equal to a half. So this is where, coming back to that formula page and knowing how to rearrange your equations, the way that we're going to start to use that. So that's kind of how that, what we did last week, will play into the solving these type of equations as we move forward. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to use our unit circle. Where is sine x equal to one half? So we go through this. Sine is positive one half at pi over six. Where else is it? And it goes around to five pi over six. Those are the only places where it's positive one half. And those would be our answers. Okay, let me know if you have problems today.